Hello, Your Honor, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, it looks like it's going to be sunny and childlike, lucky you, for the next two and a half days, and that's really a good thing. What's happening is the moon is moving into an air sign. Now, when you're an air sign and the moon moves into an air sign, that's a good thing. It takes the heaviness out of the emotions, kind of frees you up to be light and to be fun. And when you're a Libra, it puts emotional focus really on your soul expression, what I call the soul contract, really what you're here to do on the planet, the fun stuff. That's why this is also the sector of our inner child, because when we come down to the planet and we incarnate, that child in the beginning is really hopeful and wanting to have a good time. But as you know, society and life beats us down, makes it hard. But when the moon returns to this place, we return to that place in our heart. And that's really what the universe wants us to do, is what we want to do in that space. So this is a good time emotionally to deal with romance, creativity, and anything that expresses your heart's true desire for the next two days. Now, speaking of karma and lessons, well, I didn't speak of that, but I'm going to. The sun in Aries now entering chapter two. This is a month about relations and relationships. And this is a big deal. Now you may think you've been here before Libra when it comes to relationships and different frames of mind, but you really haven't. Let me remind you that Saturn is in the sector of subconscious. The universe in the background is offering you to let go of some very ancient patterns and ways. And although you may be having issues in career or maybe relationships or creativity, because those are the hot spots astrologically, really in the background, it's about undoing a very ancient way of thinking and maybe coming to the end of an old, old myth in your soul. So no matter what's going on in the next 10 days with relations and relationships, I encourage you to try something entirely new. Try approaching every relationship you have differently. Try thinking outside the box. Experiment. And especially try one that might be in conjunction with your lifestyle. I say that only because right now Mercury, Venus, and Uranus are all working together in the sector of lifestyle. So you might be able to make a leap here, not just in the way you express your soul, the creative part, not just in the way you relate to people, but in the way you actually have a lifestyle and live moment to moment. There's a major profound leap here at your fingertips and it may be relationships that's holding you back. All right, Labor, I hope that was clear. I'll see you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Until then, live, love, be.